Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, everybody. I am Debbie Sellers. I am with Debbie Sandy Design Co. And I got to get used to saying that. Y'all, I've been Sweet Southern Sellers for three years. And I still am. But as you um, probably know, if you watch us for any length of time, you know that Sandy Harbor and I have uh, joined our businesses. And good morning, Estelle. So we have a new name. Um, and we are trying to get our Facebook pages merged. It's just Facebook is a little bit slower than we are because we're really excited to get this done. But anyway, I am the Debbie of Debbie Sandy Design Co. And I am so glad to see you guys this morning. Hi, Susan. Hi, Madeline. Madeline, is that correct? I love that. I have a niece, Madeline. Hey, Kathy. So um, let me show you what we're going to do today. I went to do something um, neutral, a, a, a neutral fall decor piece. So I'm kind of going and, and using elements that I love. Okay. So what I'm doing this morning, if, if y'all can see, I started taking this apart last night and I thought, why? You know, I can do it this morning. Um, you know, y'all can watch me take it apart. So if y'all have seen these, can y'all see it? Oh, and I've got a, I've got a new tripod. My other one broke. I've got a new, new tripod. Oh, thank you. Um, I've got a new tripod. So, um, you know, I'll be able to paint it down so you don't have to look at me. But anyway, did y'all see these at the Dollar Tree? Um, I'd started taking it apart last night. Okay, first off, it has this. Can y'all see? It's the little, it's the little pumpkins that you hang. And like I said, I started working on it last night and I said, eh, we'll do it all this morning. Hey Joyce. Hi Denise. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. I think this is going to be really cute. Dawn, good morning. Okay, so all I did, I took this little metal. It says warm hearts and it's very sweet, but I didn't want that on there. So I just popped that off. And these are the little pumpkins that are at the Dollar Tree and they're, they hang like that. But I wanted to do something different with it. Okay, so, so I thought, you know, they'll want to see how easy it is to take this apart. So all I did was I take took a little screwdriver. It's a silly little pink screwdriver. And just pop out these little staples on the back. They come out really easy. And you can even grab one and kind of pull that rope up. And it, it really just kind of pops right up. Um, but I think this will be cute. So let me pop these out real quick. Um, let me tell y'all, if you, y'all know I always have to tell you, I'm, I'm like a, um, I always wanted to be a weather girl. And it is pouring down rain this morning outside. I can hear it on the roof. Um, we're supposed to have rain for like two days here in Georgia. It says it's 73 degrees and you would go, oh, 73. No, it is like muggy you can't even tell it's the temperature is down because it's just you walk out and it's so suffocating it's so thick but the um they say that once this rain moves out that we're going to have some cooler weather and that's going to be really exciting because i really fall really is my favorite time of year good morning yvonne i I am so glad to see y'all. I'm glad y'all on with me this morning. We're going to be playing with some of my favorite elements, okay? So all I did was take this little pumpkin, you know, that comes in pieces like this. It was suspended with a little rope, and I'm going to paint them. We're going to paint them and set them aside, and then we're going to play with tissue paper and molds, y'all. I love to do molds. That's one of my, my things. So, I am going to put a coat of paint on this real quick. Because it may take two, because I'm going to be decoupaging this tissue on it. So, I wanted a similar color to this. Isn't that pretty? It's just tissue paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's $1.99. And you get, you get eight big pieces. So, 
um, that's good anyway, but I also got it on the 50% off, so it was a dollar. Okay, so that's cool. Um, Hobby Lobby. So we're going to be doing with that. Um, but like I said, I wanted to decoupage, and when this gets wet, it gets really thin and transparent, and I don't want to be able to see this. So that's why we want to put a coat of paint, and I wanted a, a paint color that is similar to this. So what I'm using this morning, hey Catherine, Tina, Lori, good morning. Thank y'all for watching. Okay, so this morning I am using, um, this is Paint Couture's French Putty. Let's see, where is, I've got lights in here so it's hard to see. There we go. It's French Putty by Paint Couture. Normally you would think of it as a furniture paint, but I've been using it on some of my crafts and it comes out fabulous, okay? And the color of this French putty I think is gonna be perfect. And I'm just using it as a under, under cover. Um, but like I said, we're gonna do, this is gonna be neutral. It'll go in, in any color scheme. So, hey Pat and Colleen, thank y'all. Um, so I think it'll go good under this paper. So let's put a coat of paint on this real quick. And then while that's sitting over here drying, I'm gonna show you the next thing that I was doing. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Oh yeah, see how this color, ooh, this is gonna be good. It's just a really nice neutral, um, it's called putty, right? French putty, and that's what it looks like. So, oh, and the coverage is really good. We'll just see if I feel like I need two coats or not, because the coverage is really good, and it just, it's nice. It goes on really well. So, like I said, it'll be really nice if um, once all the rain moves out, if it really does, like, cool off. I mean, really, 70s, to me, 70 is just a beautiful temperature when you don't have 98% humidity. And that's what we're dealing with. Yesterday morning, um, I had a piece of furniture, I a custom, oh, and I've got to post pictures. Y'all, I didn't stage it because it was a custom. Um, but I will post pictures. She, uh, The owner is gonna send me pictures of it in her home. Um, but I just don't, I don't have them yet. But I, I did, she wanted a roll top desk and I did it in Dixie Bell's Midnight Sky. Um, Y'all, it turned out gorgeous. I, um, I'll have to show y'all pictures. It turned out better than I thought. It's gonna look so fabulous in her home because she's using that, um, you know, not a jet black, but just, um, the color on her house was called Iron Orb, and it's fabulous. And um, we distressed it a little bit. It really, it really looked Pottery Barn-ish. So I'll post some pictures so y'all can see it. Good morning, Liz. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking this little Dollar Tree pumpkin. I know y'all saw them at the Dollar Tree. It, it just hang hung by twine in several pieces. I'm putting um, some paint on it. I'm using Paint Couture's French Putty. And we'll see if I need another coat or not. Let me put this aside. And then, okay, let me show y'all this because this makes my heart happy. I don't know if y'all use, if y'all use molds or not, but I, I love, I love molds. Do y'all use molds? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Judy. Oh, and Tina, good morning. Okay, so I have, I've been playing with several of the molds for this. Now, um, I, Prima, Redesign with Prima makes fabulous molds. IOD, which I've, I have two IOD molds that I'm working with. Um, they make great molds. Look at this one. Um, this is called Birdsong. I actually did this on a piece of furniture. It's pretty fabulous. I haven't posted pictures of that either um, because the 
owner has not even seen it yet, not even pictures. So I didn't want to show y'all first. Okay. And like I said, this is IOD. I'm playing with some of these. Look, aren't those great? But look at this. Do y'all know what this is? Okay. This came from Hobby Lobby over there in the baking section. You have the bird, Rhonda. I love that mold. Okay, but this came from Hobby Lobby. This is over there with the um, icing. This is what you d put fondant in um, to put on your cake. But they work because look, they've got some, I loved the beads. And then the other two I'm going to use today because I want you to see those. Look, I, um, let me show you what I did. This for fondant, I put the clay. Um, the clay that I use, I have it over here, but I got it at Walmart. It's the air dry clay. Um, good morning, Minnie. I'm glad to see you. It's the, um, the air dry clay. So you don't bake it or anything. This is the clay and this is how it came out. I mean, it looks great, right? Now I did these, I, I did a whole bunch and put them in a bag. So these are a couple of months old. But I did this out of this from Hobby Lobby back in the cake decorating. Okay, and then there's this one with the clay. Can y'all? Let me see if I can see. With the light, it's hard to see the um, but we're gonna we're gonna paint it, we're gonna hit it with some uh, wax. So you'll be able to see that. And then I had some birds that I had done ahead of time. These are all clay. Okay, but I wasn't sure which way my head was going. All right, so hey Peggy, Rosalina, thank you for watching me, y'all. Okay, so, so then this morning I was looking at it and I really wanted to use a bunny on this. I know bunny seems like spring, but the other day um, I saw one of our other crafter friends she was using some bunnies with fall colors. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I still see the bunnies in, you know, running across the yard. So it's not like bunnies go away. Well, this one, this one, can y'all see that cute little bunny down at the bottom? I love that bunny. I did that bunny on a, a piece of furniture on an old dresser and put it across the bottom and it was so pretty. So let me show you how easy this is if you don't have clay or if you don't want to wait because now the clay I usually let it rest for at least 24 hours because that gives it time to shrink because it will shrink a little bit so before I use it on a piece I like to um, pull it out of my mold and let it sit and dry like I said for a at least 24 hours sometimes if it's thicker you need to wait a little bit longer Okay, um, it just, you know, if it's thick, it takes longer to dry. But if you use this, you're done in a few minutes. Okay, so spackling. Um, let me tell you, Lori, I'm glad you asked that because um, I saw on Pinterest where, um, no, not spackling. I was fixing to tell you, well, I'll tell you anyway. I have not used spackling, okay, I haven't, I haven't tried it, but what I was thinking is caulk. I saw the caulk on Pinterest, um, and they used the clear, okay, well I thought, what's the difference in clear and white? So I picked up some white caulk, and I put it in mine, um, it wouldn't dry, wouldn't dry, wouldn't dry, I ended up digging it out. And just scrubbing and just forget and so I went back to the Pinterest page and read it and she said it takes about three days to dry okay I, I don't have three days I'm I'm too impatient for that so I'm one I would I think I've used spackling on furniture for um, um, stencils and it works great 
it dries reasonably quick. I'm not sure about it popping out of the molds. And I only say that because I haven't done it. So, but I'm think I'm wondering how it and how long it would take to dry. So that was a very long answer. <laughs> that was a very long answer. But the answer is I haven't tried it and I'm wondering about dry time and how it would pop out. So hi Regina. Hi Mike. So okay, let me show you. I'm gonna turn you down and so you can see how quick and easy this is. Hopefully y'all can see, because you don't need to see me anyway. Okay, can y'all see this? Uh, hot glue, yay. All right, so hot glue. Hot glue's cheap too. I mean, when you think about it, it's pretty cheap. Okay, I hope y'all can see. The bunny it actually is perfect because he's got a lot of surface area and not a lot of little details. I found when I'm using my hot glue and I've got a lot of details, it, it makes it more difficult. The chicken might be a little more difficult, but I'm going to be doing one. Okay, so I'm going to start up here in the ear and just, now my hot glue gun, it, look, it's a sheer bonder gun. Um, I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It's not very expensive. I think I paid $10 for it, okay? But it does have two heat settings. I have this on the high. So I've got hot heat. Um, and just I just start filling it in. Now, once it kind of settles, you can see, you know, like if you miss around the edges, and you can go back because, I mean, it will melt. Okay, but I think, I think that's pretty good. Now, that, that was it, y'all. I'm going to sit it, I'm going to sit it right over here so y'all can see how this turns out because I want you to see it. So I'm just going to set that over here. But it's not going to be two or three days. It's going to be done by the time we finish. So, I did one right before I came on. And look, is the bunny cute? But we, I don't know if we're going to do the bunny or not. I'll let y'all kind of help me decide. But I am going to paint up these pieces so that we've got an assortment. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, so pull out my French putty. Hi Heidi and Rhonda. Can you get get it flat? Yeah. Yes. Just as you're putting it in, you know, don't don't keep on and keep on. Just kind of watch what you're doing. And if it looks too concave, you can add more because it's hot glue. So you can add more. Now you don't want to wait until later. I mean, I guess you could, I haven't done, but as you're sitting here, you can, you know, you can tell, do I need to add more or not? Um, and you know what, if you're not impatient and you don't mind waiting until tomorrow, do your clay. I got this clay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to just paint up all these little pieces just because I don't know which one I'm going to use. Okay. Um, the clay, I also, let me grab it, just so y'all can see. Okay, the clay that I use, I get it Walmart. It's like $6. It's this Sculpty Air Dry Clay. It's modeling clay. But y'all, I... I have had really good success with this. Um, I put it on furniture, and I do. Um, I I keep it in a Ziploc bag because I don't want it to dry out after I open it. But I love this. Um, but after I put it in my mold and take it out, I just walk away and I let it sit for. I give it. 24 hours and then I check on it. If it's a thick piece, it may take a little bit longer. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Look at these. 
these angel wings. Aren't they pretty? It's another mold that, of course, I'm going to be doing this for something Christmassy. But they're kind of thick. So it took more than 24 hours. But that's okay. I'm going to be doing something Christmassy with those, and, and it's going to be great. I haven't figured it out yet, so I don't know. But, so all I'm going to do, all I'm doing is just putting the same French putty, because, you know, I said we're going to do something neutral. So I'm just putting this French putty all over the, these. They paint up, the clay paints up well, and so does the glue, y'all. It paints up well. And then you let it dry. Now, I'll tell you, the ones that I put on furniture, I painted. And then I, sp I sprayed. I did a lot of things because I, I, I wanted it to stay. So I sprayed um, a, a clear, like a top coat over them. But then I also put my top coat over my furniture and over them. And then I went back at the very end and I sprayed some more top coat, you know, just a clear matte top coat over them. So I just, and they've got paint on them. So I just feel like I just wanted them like encapsulated and hardened. And every time I've walked by that piece of furniture, I've tapped on it and scraped on it and nothing's happening. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. So all I'm doing is painting this. The angel wings. Rhonda, I should know the answer to that, but I don't. Um, you know, I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm feeling like it would be Prima because my IOD molds say IOD, but they don't have the names on the molds. So I don't know exactly, but I do love those angel wings. I love the birds, I love the angel wings, and y'all, it's so easy, right? And you can add such pretty things. Hey, Deborah and Lori and Patty. Ooh, from Oregon. Y'all are getting a little bit cooler out there too, aren't you, in Oregon? Y'all, you know, I think y'all have had a hotter summer than we have in Georgia this year. Because, like I said, I think I'm a frustrated news girl, and so I'm a uh, weather girl, and I'm always watching the weather. And y'all got really hot up there this year, and our even, you know, we it's not uncommon for us to have you know a lot of hundred degree days, and this year we have not. But Lord, the humidity, whew. Even at 74 degrees yesterday, it was just so sticky. They, the weather guy calls it the air that you wear. And he's right. Oh, it's so oppressive. Um, one of these also has bees. It has bees and crowns. So, so yeah, I, I love that one too. I love molds. And if y'all go on... Etsy, you can, you can find even off brands. And y'all, let me just tell you, I found one um, that has little purses. I've got to get that one. It's got little Chanel purses. And I have no idea what I would do with it, but it's just screaming for me to buy it. So check out Etsy and look at the silicone molds is what you want to look up. Yes, 117. I mean, we don't even hit that in Georgia. Spokane watching. It, yes. Okay. And tell me if this is true, Rhonda. I've heard that a lot of, a lot of you guys don't have air conditioning up there because it doesn't normally get that, um, that hot. Is that true? Because down here, you got to have air. I mean, you have to. You'll die. Um, but that's just what I've heard. I have never, I have never traveled further than, than Las Vegas. I'm not a world traveler and I probably never will be, but, um, 
but that's what I've heard that a lot of, of, of you guys out there don't even have air conditioning because is that true? Y'all have just tell me if that's true. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad to see all of y'all on this rainy Monday morning. It's a rainy Monday in Georgia. All right. So, and here's the bunny that I just did one of them. I did the others over here. It looks like it's almost done. Because when you first put it in, when it's glue, it's going to be real clear. And then it gets, you can see it gets a little cloudy. And for all y'all that have just started, popped in. Oh, well, thank you, Rhett. So I, that was correct information. That's what I'd heard, that a lot of you don't even have air up there because you've never needed it. But I guess things are weird, aren't they? When y'all have a hotter summer than we do down here in Georgia. Now, look, now you put some paint on, and you, you can start to see some of the detail. I don't know if you can see it. it almost looks like he has hair, fur, what, whatever they have. Oh, okay. Rhonda, I've heard about swamp coolers. Um, my partner, Sandy, lived in New Mexico and she told me about swamp coolers. I have no idea how that works, but I have heard about swamp coolers. Down here, you just you just need some good OAC because it's, it's just hot. I'm just putting just a little more because I don't want to be able to see through. And then we'll hit it all with a dryer and I'll get some of this paint off my hands and start putting all this together and it's going to be super cute y'all and i'll kind of i'll kind of do a recap as soon as i let me get this on and i'll do a recap for those of you that have just come on betty you don't use your air oh betty where are you michigan boston where are you betty somewhere up there what <laughs> swamp cooler don't they will have to explain that to you I, I, I couldn't even do it in any kind of educated manner I've just heard Sandy talk about swamp coolers because I think they had one all right so let me let me grab a paper towel and I'll do a real quick um, oh hey Sandy Oh, Sandy says the swamp cooler doesn't work above 90. Um, yeah, Sandy, I, I don't even know how to tell them what a swamp cooler is. Boston. Okay, I was right. I thought you were somewhere near Boston. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay, that is not me. That is Sandy. <laughs> it looks like I'm typing things up, but I'm not. I'm just trying to get some of the paint off my hands. Okay, let me do a real quick recap for some of you. Hey, Deborah, they've just popped on, so you'll know what I, where I am. I bought this little pumpkin at the Dollar Tree. It's the one that hangs um, on the twine, so it's in several different pieces. And all I did was I took it off the twine, and it had this... This nice little metal sign that says warm hearts that was on there and I just popped that off okay and painted it with paint couture's French putty all right because I want a neutral neutral looking piece then I grabbed my molds I've taken some of my molds I've already because I've done this um, I already had them um, just some of the molds these that I'm using today are IOD. They, IOD makes molds. Prima makes molds. Those two companies make the most beautiful molds, okay? Today I'm using two IODs. I've got some birds from this um, IOD mold. And this one, this one has um, some fleur-de-lis. It has a chicken. It has hearts. Um, leaves, acorns, and a bunny. I mean, there's this is a wonderful one. It has so much. And this is the bunny that I just did that y'all saw. And this one, 
Then I got it Hobby Lobby. It's a silicone mold that you would, it's over there in the cake decorating aisle, and you would use this for fondant on your cake. Okay, but look, these, these are perfect. So I made some of those. But this morning, I showed you how I just did this with hot glue. Now, this one, it's done. Y'all saw me pour it in, and look, it, it, the glue pops out so quick. And there's my little bunny. Now, if you have, if you have little sprigs, some of them you can pluck off. I have um, gone outside the lines, and I just take my scissors, and I trim it up because it's just hot glue. It'll just trim up really easy. But look how quick, just in the time that I painted all of this, and the rabbit's done. And, and it looks great, right? And it's, yeah, it's flat on the back, so you can glue it. And the difference in this and the clay, the clay is going to be hard, where this is a little more malleable. You know, so you, it, you could put it on um, something with a shape. So, all those quick little tips, right? Okay, so let me, I'm going to hit this with my, my dryer, and then we're going to start putting it all together. So we've done all this prep work, but easy peasy, right? Oh! And just so y'all know, if y'all watched me the other day, I said two words in the same sentence that I wasn't supposed to. Nobody caught it, okay? You know, Facebook people didn't catch it. So, I, I did not have to spend any jail time. Because I didn't even notice it was one of you that noticed and, and said, Debbie, wait, you just said these two words and they're not look they're not bad words they're not cuss words on Facebook it, I think cuss words are probably okay but yeah yes Betty we're not supposed to say that word and see it's not like they're bad words it's just words that they don't want us to use but Betty, I said words that I knew should not be said, and it, they just flew out. Um, this is one of them. I can't say what this is, but it is heat, and it's drying. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. And this is melting. It's melting the glue. I can't say what that is, just so y'all know. Oh, Lord. But thank goodness, thank goodness, I didn't get caught. So I didn't have to spend any jail time. But I know it's coming. I know it's coming because I just, I talk too much and I say too much. And it is what it is. Saying you'll have to bail me out. Um, yeah, see all those things, all those things that Sandy's telling you? <laughs> uh, no, Dom, I did not say that either. <laughs> um, Terrace, I bought the, I bought all my molds online. Um, there are, um, you know, little shops uh, with retailers that have them. I don't have any near me, so I buy them all online. I am usually Etsy. I usually go to Etsy, and um, and that's where I buy them. So just go on to Etsy, look up uh, silicone molds, and you'll find you'll find some that are IOD, Prima, and now if you just look up silicone molds, you'll find those. Like I said, I want to find the purses. Um, I've seen them. I should have bought them. I didn't. But they have little Chanel purses. It would be so cute to paint up on something, right? And that's not IOD or Prima. Um, and I can say that only because I am not affiliated with either company. 
So I just, I use them all. I use the, the Hobby Lobby molds. I like being able to use them all. Okay, I think, I think everything's pretty dry. With my new little dryer. <laughs> that I can't say what that is. Okay, now, now we're gonna use this. I can't wait. I bought this months ago just because it was pretty. I love lace. I love these colors. Gift tissue. Gift tissue. Hobby Lobby. 50% off. I got it for a dollar. There's eight pieces. And look how big it is. So, we only need one. We're only going to use a few little pieces. This will last me forever. Right? For a dollar. Look how pretty. And neutral and lacy. I lo isn't that pretty, Betty? I I love that. Okay, so all we're gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting. And we're gonna put it on these little pieces. And I I won't be burning them off today. I am gonna do that one day though. Um, or Sandy. Sandy might do it for you. Have y'all seen some of the crafters burn the paper off their decoupage? It, it's really kind of exciting. And it does work. But we're not doing that this morning. So we're just going to cut and decoupage and use my... Um, Use my little sander. We're using good old Mod Podge. I love Mod Podge. Use that on everything, right? I'm just going to dip it straight in. Y'all know how to decoupage, right? This is matte Mod Podge. Make sure you've just got a nice coat. Not too thick, no globs, no lumps. Sandy, I told you I was going to be decoupaging this morning on pack on decoupaging on wood. Yeah, Sandy likes to play with fire. <laughs> All I'm doing, y'all, rubbing this on with my hands. You can use different tools if you want to. Um, I have this tool from Aussie Decor Transfers, which is fabulous. It works really well to smooth it out. If you like that, you can use an old hotel room card. I have those over here. Um, I have a brayer. That'll roll it out. But this is a little bit thicker than, um, than your napkins. The tissue paper is a little bit thicker. So it really smooths out pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and we'll do that on each one of these. Sandy, we got to do that one day. We're going to have to set some stuff on fire. People will love that. We'll decoupage with fire. It, it's just kind of fun and exciting. You know, they think men like to play with fire. Okay, women find it pretty exciting, too. So we'll have to we'll have to do that one day. Y'all can all play along. We'll decoupage and use fire. The newer ones are different. My husband is a Oh, okay. Y'all are still talking about those swamp coolers. So y'all have at it. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing, did you? <laughs> swamp cooler. I had never heard of such. All I know is in the South, you got to have some AC. Because you will die. You know, in the summertime, they, 
they even on some of the news channels they'll take up um you know have people donate fans to the elderly because you know some of the old people that are in um some of the um apartments they get so hot and they can't afford fans so that's usually a big summer thing too because we don't want our elderly burning up in the summer heat and it just it gets so oppressively hot oh yeah that so sandy's telling y'all all the words i'm not i'm not supposed to say <laughs> and i i said um I said this one, and I said another word last week, oh, and I said them both in the same sentence, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe they're merging us, Sandy, because at some point we will be one, one page, but for right now it looks like i'm multitasking but I'm, I'm not it's sandy answering but on my screen sandy it does say sandy harbor so just so you know <laughs> but sometimes i do i see my name pop up okay all i'm doing and y'all i'm not doing if you notice i'm not really trying to keep a pattern going i'm i'm really just kind of cutting willy-nilly because it's all pretty and you know I am just trying to keep it somewhat straight um, and then we'll get rid of all the excess but this was um, just tissue paper that I got at Hobby Lobby on sale for a dollar like you would put in your um, if you're doing sending somebody a present and you put the tissue paper in it we're just going to use it and decoupage with your your mod podge and i like just nice just nice even even strokes And like I said, I'm just, and I'm, I'm not being real particular, just kind of putting it down there. Just trying to make it somewhat straight, but I'm not trying to match up patterns or anything. Okay. Two more. And we'll be done with that. So you see, I'm not I'm not trying to be real exact. Now, if you wanted to be exact, you could take take your time and really match it up, and that would be great too. And it wouldn't be that hard because the pattern is going, you know, horizontally. But I think this will be really pretty when I put it all together. But y'all gotta tell me, what do you think about the rabbit? Okay, the rabbit on the pumpkin. I, it, I just thought it'd be cute, but would y'all rather see the birds? So tell me what you're thinking. I mean, I'm going to do the trim. I'm going to do that on it. But I was thinking either putting the little rabbit or the birds. So tell me what y'all think. Do we have any votes? You love the rabbit. I know, the rabbit is very French. Rhett likes the birds. Yeah, Lori, they are. They are, I don't know. We'll look at it more when I get this, this done. Maybe we'll put a bird at the top and the rabbit at the bottom, I don't know. But, Sandy's right, it's very French. Um, I, I think my taste sometime Sometimes it leans towards um, 
French cottage, shabby chic, that sort of feel. And, and this is going to have that feel also. This has, I'm not, I'm not going to try to do the stem. I've got some little leaves I'm going to put up there. Um, they're actually clay leaves that I did. I'm going to put those up there. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to put decoupage all up there. Yeah, this is this is definitely going to have sort of a um, shabby chic feel, I guess. But I love that. I love and I love lace. I love burlap. Now we're going to save that. I'm going to put it with the rest because you know we got to save that. Let's put this. All right. I mean, that was only like a half of one sheet, so I've got a ton of that left over. Okay. Sandy, is it raining down at your house? Because it is pouring out there. I can hear it. It is just pouring. Um, we will be in Rhine, Georgia tomorrow. Uh, Sandy myself and Janet, we will be doing, we're going to be doing some tear tray pieces. Um, so y'all have got to come see us tomorrow at noon. We're going to be working on all things tear tray and we're doing fall. We're doing fall stuff and decorating fall tear trays. <gasps> a real lace tablecloth for a dollar. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, a dollar for, let me just tell you, um, here I am. I'm probably going to get in trouble. I'm bullying the Goodwill, but the Goodwill here in my area has just gotten out of control with their prices. Y'all, I mean, out of control. There's nothing in there for a dollar nothing and certainly not that uh, the prices have just skyrocketed you know and I I don't know how I feel about it I mean the stuff is free right it's free um, people people don't they don't want the stuff anymore so they're giving it away but then you're charging me as much as I could I could go get get it new and um so some things i will get um but a dollar that is amazing i would be afraid to do anything with it too are you gonna put it on your table or is it something you're planning on crafting with what are you gonna do with the lace tablecloth because you know what and that was probably somebody's mama somebody's mama's tablecloth and they didn't want it and they took it to the goodwill and you know sometimes i think that you know look at this piece this was this belonged to somebody's mama and that's the way it'll be when i'm gone our kids will take everything to the goodwill stuff that i just loved but what do you do Oh, are your Goodwill prices going up too? <gasps> Still in the package. Oh boy, that was that was your deal of the day. That was a good one. Now I did find, and I'm funny, I'm funny about some of the stuff I'll buy. Many yours is too. It must be it must be a, a global thing. They're they're all going up. I did find a beautiful, um, I say bed spread because it's not a quilt, um, but it's off-white, and anytime I see something like that in off-white, if it's in pretty good condition, I'll bring it home. Um, you know, I like, to, I like to throw it over like my chair in my bedroom, and it looks pretty, and 
my dogs like to sit on it so it doesn't you know so it saves my chair um, and I don't feel so bad because I got it from the Goodwill well I got one it's been weeks ago now and I'll tell y'all a secret I was thinking about giving it to Sandy because I thought, mm, I bet she would like this and it would look really good on her bed, but I'm still debating because I keep thinking, you know, when when winter comes and I, I it'll be pretty at the at the foot of my bed. So, Sandy, I'm sorry. I am keep going back and forth. Do I give it to Sandy? Do I keep it myself? And I don't know. I don't know. Ah! <gasps> I've heard that. I've heard that, Rhett. I, yeah, I've heard that. But I got to tell you, I, I still have to go. I have to go because there's always, you know, there's always that thing. You know, that, that one thing. But I'll tell you, I saw this cute little nativity scene. And it was small. It was small, but it was really cute. And I thought, oh, this would be really sweet. Okay, it was small, and it wasn't the whole scene. It was just Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. And I, they wanted like $20 for it, and baby Jesus' arm was broke. I'm like, really? I bet I could get this for $20 at Hobby Lobby, and baby Jesus' arm would not be broke. Right? So, I had to leave it there. And every time I go back, it's still there, because I guess somebody else thought the same thing as... Yeah. At least if we get if we get it at the Hobby Lobby, baby Jesus will have an intact arm. So anyway, all I'm doing is taking my sanding block and sanding off the edges. Y'all know y'all know how to do this. So you get that nice you get that nice edge. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. So let me do this real quick. Rhonda, um, we don't ha we don't have either of those near me. Now, um, probably forty minutes from here, there is a Salvation Army. I have been there several times, but it's it's not it's not good. It's really not good. The, the only thing I've ever found there that I liked was a frame. I got a great big ornate frame and it was like $12 and it was well worth it. Um, in fact, I think I've got it. I fixed it up for Christmas. I'll probably be pulling it out this year and doing, oh, you know what? Last year I painted it blue because I painted, you know, my dining room blue. So, oh, look, see, isn't that pretty? Nice lacy little pumpkin. But we don't have any Salvation Armies near us. We just have our bougie little, you know, lake people, Goodwill. It's pricey. And, you know, even though I'm down here with the, you know, the rich lake people, it don't matter. They are in there when the doors open and complaining of how much things cost and I'm like really really y'all live on a on the lake in a two million dollar house and you're worried about this four four dollar thing here but maybe that's why they have a two million dollar house <laughs> maybe that's why but okay two more two more and we're done we're gonna put it all back together Value Village. Ah, oh, we don't have one of those either. Oh, yes, tissue paper. Yes. Where did you go, Dawn? Where did you go? <laughs> yes, this is tissue paper, um, you know, that you get at Hobby Lobby to wrap, you know, when you wrap your gifts. It's just tissue paper. I always check out the tissue paper because sometimes you get some really pretty designs and it decoupages so well on stuff because it's a little bit thicker than the napkins. 
but it's not you know thick like construction paper and it look it just goes on so nice um yeah it was just it was just tissue paper you know that we'd put in a gift and i got it at the hobby lobby so and regular your regular matte mod podge which for decoupage it really doesn't matter if you use matte or gloss or whatever it doesn't matter um, but I tend to use matte on stuff like this because I I hoard my gloss Mod Podge because I like to use it like under um, under my um, diamond dust. It's just it's just the thing that I do. So I use the matte all the time for stuff like this. Okay, look. And it, it comes out so smooth, right? Okay, so I want to get this mess up and we're going to start assembling all this and we'll be done. I hope I taught you so, some things this morning, though. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So, this, let's put this back together. Um, this was the little pumpkin I got at the Dollar Tree. Uh-oh, hold on. It's like putting a puzzle together. Wait, this looks, this is the bottom. Right, right. So it's probably this, maybe, or this. Ooh, it might be like that. Uh oh, hold on. I didn't mark them. I figured I could put it back together. That one doesn't feel like it. Well, I guess it does, though. Okay. Is that it? No. This one's wonky. Hold on. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Can y'all see that? Look how pretty. And like I said, I didn't try to, um, you know, match it up or anything. I just, I just cut it. Now, I am going to flip this over to sturdy up the back. I'm going to just use some craft sticks and we're going to hot glue those on just to make it sturdy. And then um, and then we'll put the molds on the front. I know y'all probably can't hear it, but I mean pouring. It is pouring outside. Let me put a few of these on. just to give it like a spine on the back. So we're putting it together. You know, originally it had the the twine that was holding it together and it was really cute. And y'all, it even had, um, the design on the front was cute. I mean, you could have used it exactly the way it was and it was fine. Actually, I may do. Um, but, my head went in a totally different direction. I'm going to put this one a little bit lower. Hi, Mel. Hi, Sharon. Victoria. Thank y'all. I'm so glad y'all like it. All right. I'm just, I just want this to be sturdy. Let me hold that for a second. Get some more glue going. Okay. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Did my glue come through? Oh, just a little. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Okay. So now, there's that. Now, where we're going to doll it up, right? Um, hmm. I better hit it with, I'm just thinking out loud, but I better hit, hit it with my wax first, right? I didn't bring a wax brush. Mm. I don't mix my wax brushes and my paint brushes. I try to keep them separate. So mm, I'm going to have to give up a brush. I could use my finger, but I think I'm going to, okay, let's see. Now remember, these, this was the trim. Look at all 
this out of the way, that I did from the fondant silicone molds from Hobby Lobby. Okay, this is the clay. I had made these several weeks ago and I just keep them all, when I make stuff, I keep them in a Ziploc bag because I you never know when I'm going to pull them out and use them. Um, so what I want to do is put like, I'm going to alternate them. Okay, this one's short, so it'll go like up here. And then that one and that one. Can y'all see that? Okay, so what I want to do, I got to cut a little bit. Now, this is the, um, this is, these are the clay. So I'm going to cut just a little. Now, this is, it gets really hard, but I don't want to break it apart. I do want it to be, um, I want to kind of cut it. But even the clay, you know, I was playing with it last night, and I was like, man, this really does get hard. But I didn't want to break it because it'll come out jagged. So all I'm using is, you know, just a my DeWalt X-Acto knife. You can kind of break it when you get most of the way through it. But look at that. Isn't that amazing how hard that gets? Because I was thinking, oh, this clay probably isn't going to be hard enough. It gets hard. So let me size these up. The, um, if you do it with the glue, you can cut through it real easy with, um, with an X-Acto knife or your scissors. I just want this to be neat, so that's why I'm being a little more careful. And then I think I'm going to hit it with my wax. Um, oh, I was saying earlier, you can you can take your um, brushes and just clean them really good and use them. But I I just have designated this is my paint brush, this is my wax brush, and then I ha also have my liquid gold brushes because I don't do anything with those except liquid gold because it really, um, it's rough on brushes and they get really stiff and you can clean them. I don't, I just keep them all over here together. And usually once you put the liquid gold on it again, they, they kind of re-soften up. So I am forever buying brushes, but stuff like that, I, I do buy just real inexpensive brushes from either Walmart or Dollar Tree. And then I don't feel bad. Um, I think I've even shown y'all, I use um, eyeliner brushes too. That I, This is an eyeliner brush that I bought it, or eyeshadow. I brought, bought it at the Dollar Tree. It's like Wet n Wild. Um, they're good little brushes too. And you've paid a dollar for it and I, you don't feel guilty about using it a few times and throwing it away. finished. I don't want to I don't want to break it and make it jagged, so I am trying to be careful. Okay, 
All right. Okay. There we go. That wasn't too bad, right? All right. I have gold and I have brown, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it needs brown. What y'all think? Brown. Ooh, that's not thick enough. My brush isn't thick enough, but we're going to try it and see what happens. I just want to dust it. Um, and then I'm going to wipe it off. Just to get a little, just a little. Can y'all see that? Brown and gold, Liz. Liz, you're my girl. You, you know we might need to bling it up, right? Okay, this is the brown, and I'm just wiping it back just a little, but you can see the details a little bit better. Remember that? It, I know earlier when I showed it to you, it didn't look like anything. Okay, so we'll just hit it with a little bit. All I'm doing is using, oh, the wax that I'm using, uh, the brown wax, this is Dixie Bell's best dang wax in brown y'all i've had this i've had this for almost three years it lasts forever i love the brown and the um the gray i think those are my my favorites Okay, and let's do one more. Okay. Look, that cute. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to glue this. We got to be thinking. We got to be thinking. The ducks or the birds or both. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all. Uh oh. Let's see if I got enough to. And all I'm doing is I'm putting this in those creases, you know, where it was put together. All right, and then I guess we'll we'll play with it and get the feel. Maybe we'll put them both on there. I don't know. These are just the molds made with clay. The air dry clay that I got at Walmart. No baking involved. You know, I'm not going to do anything. Baking, mm. Hold on, did I put that on wrong? I did, sorry. Put it on upside down. Okay. All right. Okay, this is where we are so far. Ooh, I like it, I like it, I like it. So now, let me show you. I've got leaves, I'm gonna put those at the top. I'll, I'll, I'm playing with the my glue strings. I'm sorry. Um, I'll put those on last. Ooh. 
Okay, so tell me what you think. Now I've got I've got this little bird. I was thinking about putting a little bird. Maybe a little bird up there. And I was kind of thinking about maybe the bunny. Oh, he'll hang off if I put him down there. Oh, he's a little big. I don't know. Maybe he does need to go down there, but he'll hang off. I didn't know he'd be too... Maybe the bunny needs to go at the top. Can y'all see what I'm thinking? What do y'all think? The bunny. Um, the little bird. I can put the bird up there. Now, I've got... What does this one do? What do y'all think? course I got to hit him with wax. The bird on the brown. Oh, he's too big. This one. Like that. I've got to hit them with something. The bunny at an angle on the bottom. The bunny. He's still going to hang off. He's kind of big. I don't have much angle. See, he's gonna, he's gonna hang off. What do y'all think? Is it okay for him to be down there and his little arms hanging off? Or are y'all liking place the leaves first? Oh, y'all wanna see the leaves on there? Maybe, I, let me hit these with the gold and see what it looks like. Hmm, I think it needed the brown first. Let's put the brown. And then put a little gold, maybe. Okay, let's... I was going to put the leaves up here to kind of cover up the ugly stem. Let's see, kind of like that. Um, and then I'll show y'all how that looks. Because the stem's kind of plain. Yeah, this needed the brown. Let's put a little brown in there. I could have gone all out and put green, right? But I, but I was trying to keep it all really neutral. Ooh, I put that leaf there. Now my bunny's not going to go there. Okay. Do y'all like the leaves? Kind of sitting up there. Do you like the gold? I kind of like the gold. I kind of like the gold, but I like the I like the brown. So let's. Um, I, I think. I think I'm gonna put. The only problem is I hope I don't break his little legs off. I think he's gonna go down there. I think he's gonna go. Here, let me hit these with some brown so they have a little dark dimension under them. Then I'll hit them with a little gold so they stand out a little bit. This, I love the bunny, y'all. Look how the wax just brings out, you can see the hair, the hair on the hair, right? Okay. And I think I was going to do this one. I have a B over there, too. It might just get to be too much, right? All right. I'm trying to hurry. I'll hit that with the gold. I do like the gold. Um, I'm using Prima's, it's called Eternal, is the color um, wax. But you could also use your rub and buff if, you know whatever you want to use. You do you, right? I do love adding a little bit of gold, though. That kind of makes me happy. Just topping it off with a little gold. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm feeling, what are y'all feeling? Um, same thing. I, I got it. I bought it on Etsy. Um, 
but I do know that Prima has changed their formula so you won't I don't think they have it like this in the containers anymore it comes in a little tube like the rub and buff but I think they still have the the eternal gold is like the best gold ever but yeah I buy everything online um, just because I don't have there aren't people like nearby that you know retailers nearby that I can I can buy from okay I think I, I really whoever told me to put this on the brown you were right I think the bird needs to go right there this one's a little bit bigger um, so we're gonna put it right in there and I'm gonna to top it off with the bunny at the bottom and I hope I don't break his feet off when I sit him up and the bunny's the one we made with the glue the hot glue oh, I love him I love him okay y'all and I wasn't gonna add anything else I wasn't gonna do any um, bows or ruffles or anything I think I was I'm just gonna leave it like this all right tell me what you think what do y'all think yes Betty you are right able like it's running and jumping <laughs> yeah he does look he does look like he's jumping doesn't he y'all y'all like it at yes I think I like it I, I, but I almost forgot it was a pumpkin right this is a pumpkin <laughs> thank you Rhett so what what I would do I was gonna put it oh I don't have my easel I've got my easel all decorated I was gonna put it on easel I'm not gonna take all this down but I can y'all see I know I've got all my cutesy stuff on my easel but they have the little you know picture easels at the Dollar Tree I've got several of them in the house um, I don't have one out here but this would just sit and it's nice and neutral you know it would go anywhere but it I need a third oh oh a third leaf I don't have one made I need a third leaf oh man now I'm gonna have to make another one since I need a third one Oh, <laughs> but thank you. Okay, I can make a third leaf. See, just to go, like, to go down here, maybe. But I think it turned out cute. All right, y'all. So I hope y'all like that. I hope you enjoy. I hope I taught you a few things. You know, um, go get you some tissue paper for a dollar. And put it on a dollar pumpkin and then make you some hot glue molds and and look I love it I love it I love it so much all right like I said I am Debbie with Debbie Sandy Design Co North and I will be with Sandy and Janet tomorrow and we're gonna be playing with fall tear tray ideas we're going to be making things where they're going to be designing the tear tray putting stuff together giving you some ideas so check back with us tomorrow 12 o'clock eastern time we will be in Rhine, georgia doing all things tear trays so thank you so much for spending this time with me and and this was this was a lot of fun if you have any questions about anything i did today please don't hesitate to send me a message i love talking to you thank you all and have a great great day bye bye <music>